Hi, this is Erin Cooper. I am the Assistant Coordinator for Momentum Youth Conference, and I'm here with Jordan and the Jordan Howerton Band. They are joining us this summer for Momentum 2014, and so they're new to our conference and just a really great group of guys that I've gotten to get to know over the last year. So we're going to say hi to them and introduce them to our students and our youth workers who are going to be joining us for Momentum this year and give you a little glimpse into who the Jordan Howerton Band is. So can you guys just say, hey, introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about the band? Hello. Hey. Hello, everyone. We're coming in from Portland, Oregon right now, so please excuse any of the road noise. I apologize. Uh, Jeremy? Hey, I'm Jeremy. I'm David. I'm Matt. <laughs> and we're the Jordan Howerton Band. <laughs> We've done that time or two before. Uh, we're all from Joplin, Missouri, and uh, that's where we like to call home. We're a worship band that travels around the country and leads worship for events and organizations. And we're really, really excited to get to work with Aaron and everybody at CE National and the whole Momentum Conference. We love the youth workers that we've met, uh, Dave and the crew uh, that are going to be a part of the conference. And we can't wait to be a part of what God's going to do that week in Wheaton. Cool. Yeah, we're excited awesome. to have you guys. Um, I know I've gotten to see you a couple times just over the last year. We've run into each other at different conferences and things, so it's been cool to hear your vision for ministry and for leading worship and kind of get to know you ahead of having you at a conference. And so I think that your band will mesh um, just really well with our vision for Momentum and how we want to lead our students. So I would love for you guys just to share a little bit about your vision for being worship pastors, how you see your ministry, and um, what your vision in leading worship is. We want to have fun worshiping together. We feel like God has given us a joy that this world can never take and that this world can never give us. And so um, we, want to, uh, we want to lead worship and have joy and have a lot of fun doing it. So that's one of the things. The other thing is that whenever we lead worship, we want to fit into whatever it is that the theme of the event is. And so we see our role not as a cog, a moving piece, but as oil that helps everything move better together. And so we want to weave what the speaker says into what Momentum wants you guys to be able to do in your small group times. And that's our role as worship leaders, to help connect the dots, pull the string between one line to the next. And, and that's our goal, leading worship at an event, a church, anywhere that we get to lead worship, is making sure that whatever the purpose of the weekend or the day is, is that's reinforced through the songs that we sing and the, the ways that we pray. And the other thing is that we're really passionate about worship, not just being the way that we sing. Worship is in the way that we pray. Worship is in the relationships God enabled us to have. Worship is in the conversations we have at the conference. And so another aspect that we love to be able to bring to the table is kind of worshiping outside the box, not just thinking that the only way that we worship together is through singing, but it's in the way that, that we interact with one another throughout the entire week. And so that's kind of who we are and, and how we view worship and, and what we love to get to do. Cool. Yeah, thank you. An another thing that I would add to that is um, you know, the national you stand for church effectiveness. We want to help uh, churches be effective in their ministries. And so one thing that I love about you guys is that you make your songs and resources available to people on your on your website. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. If you go to jordanhowartsandband.com, uh, you can see any any album that we've got. You can see uh, the chord charts, the song links to those, the tour we're on right now, the Believe Tour. Uh, you can click on that link and see our song list. For Momentum, you'll be able to go to our website, uh, click on Resources. You'll be able to get the chord charts for the songs, the song links for the songs uh, as well. Because we want you guys to be able to take, we want you guys to be able to take those songs home with you. Teaching videos for those songs as well. Um, it's it's one thing for us to enjoy worshiping together at a conference, and you guys go home and then not be able to redo what it is that, that we were able to do at the conference and we want to equip you guys to be able to take those things home with you. Our goal as a ministry is to create worship resources, to lead with those resources and to equip others to do the same. And so the big key to that is writing the music. The other key is to getting in front of you guys and leading it and then the, the key for us that we really find is unique for us is being able to equip you to do it. And so our resources page on our website gives you the ability to to hone in on the skills that God's given you to use those resources. Well, great, thank you. Um, so talking about writing songs, making those available, talk to us a little bit about how you go about writing songs. Did just one person in your band write your songs, or how, how do you collectively do that? Yeah, you guys want to answer that? How do we yeah. get to writing? It's, it's honestly, there is no set way or set way of 
riding or doing things. Everything kind of just happens um, organically through iPhones, through sex messages. Um, typically, just just for this album that's that's going to be coming out in uh, in May, actually our latest release. Um, we all just spend a lot of time. Um, just uh, a year out, you know, even, even writing some choruses and sharing that with one another and saying, yeah, I really like that idea. Uh, we all write lyrics together in hotel rooms sometimes, and uh, we also share the voice memos of different melodies. And so it's, it's honestly a, collabor a collaborative uh, time for us. It's not one individual. And so that makes it fun and, and more exciting that we can all be individualistic and then bring those together um, as to what Howard's Cool. Yeah, so we have your first album, We Are Free, and you guys helped us be able to send that to all of our, our churches that were with us at Momentum last year, so that was really cool for them to have that ahead of time, but um, what's your next project? When does that release? Can people get that before they come to Momentum? Next project. Uh, the next project we've got coming out uh, will release at the end of May, early June. It's called Your Love is Like, uh, and the whole premise behind that is sometimes... There's a joy that overwhelms us that words can't describe the love of God. So fill in the blank. Your love is like nothing you can do but dance, worship, have the breath taken from you, uh, and just sit in awe in the glory and power of God. Uh, so that's the album that's coming out. Jordan uh, and Jeremy both talked just to briefly how we wrote the songs this last year. And we're really excited about what God's going to do through this album, and we're excited to share these songs with you guys this summer at a Momentum Conference. Cool. Yeah. The record comes out May 27th on iTunes and every other digital facet. Okay, great. Um, so lastly, something at Momentum that we hold very strongly to is teaching our students to live on mission. We want them to take every opportunity available to them to be sharing the gospel, whether that's on the bus, at school, in their own homes, but especially in their own communities. And so. Can you talk to us just a little bit about how you guys are living on mission and what that looks like for you? We're, we're four very, very ordinary guys. Um, Dave is the nicest, but we're all really ordinary guys. And so, um, but God has taken God has taken some ordinary gifts to want to wanna be able to write music and want to be able to lead music. And he's given us incredible opportunities with those gifts. And so uh, what we love to do is to just be faithful to where it is that God is calling us. You know, none of us set out to do this uh, for a living. We just got invited to do an event, and one event turned into two, and it kept doubling and tripling every year to where this is what we do for a living now. And, and uh, it, it's never been that we sat down and said, you know what, let's start a band and try to make it. Um, and so God has been really good to us uh, and been very gracious to us in the ways that we lack, he gives us uh, more. In the ways that we might have more, um, he humbles us to realize the more that he's blessed us with. And so a way that we get to live out our mission is is by recognizing, first of all, that we're nothing special. Uh, we're just regular guys that get to do this for a living. And what's cool about that is that the places we get to go, the churches we visit, the conferences we're a part of, we get to live out our mission by not only using the resources God has given us, the gifts and the abilities he's given us, but also by connecting with the relationships of the people around us. And so we love getting to connect with youth workers and finding out how we can help enable and equip their ministries the best way possible so that so that they can do things in their home and and uh, in their home churches and and so being able to you know relate to people and, and getting to hear people's stories and we love we're all very very relational and so the more that we get to to, to do things relationally the better it is we believe very strongly that God called us to make disciples uh, of all men and so we see it as an opportunity to be able to invest in people's lives wherever we go that we might be able to leave a little trace of Jesus wherever it is that we have been. And so that's the thing that we love about what we get to do and, and how we're living out our mission right now. Cool. Yeah, thank you. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's been great getting to know you guys over the last year. I'm, one thing that I'm especially excited about, Jordan, is having you guys lead a, um, a track during our Power Track seminar times for student worship leaders. So I think that will be just an excellent opportunity to pour back into students that way too. So we're excited to have you at Momentum this year. I think it's going to be a great year. We're excited for the snow to melt in summer to get here and to get on our way. So anything else that you guys wanted to say or mention about your band? I would just add, I mean, if you if you follow us on Twitter, at Jordan H Band, um, and if you like us on Facebook, you'll be able to keep up with kind of what's going on 
leading up to the conference. Give us a follow and, and like us on Facebook and be able to keep up with what God's doing through our ministry, leading up to Momentum. Absolutely. So follow Jordan H. Bain on Twitter. Thanks for hanging out with us guys today. Students, don't miss Momentum. Don't miss the Jordan Howerton Band at Momentum and the other speakers that we're going to have there. So register now. Get the best rate at buildmomentum.org, and we'll see you guys this summer. See you guys. See ya. Thanks, guys. See ya.